Hey guys, Alex Khan here, and I want to show you my complete collection of these action figures from the Mad Max 2 Road Warrior movie. And they were made by N2T Toys back in the day. Um, and I'm pretty sure I have the complete collection, I believe. Now, some of these are outside of the box, as you can see, but I do have all their accessories. I don't have them on display right now, but I do have all their accessories. I just put them in Ziplocs. Um, but yeah, if you start, we'll start from this side. I just want to show you each one here. Here is the, the gyrocopter. There he is. Haven't taken him out of his box yet. Here's the lady that lives in the uh, compound. <clears throat> and then, uh, now Mad Max comes in three different variants. So over here in the middle, you have the clean looking Max who comes with the fuel tank. Then you have uh, Max as he comes with his uh, little dog. That one's kind of hard to find. And then over here you have the really uh, uh, bruised up Max. You can see he's got like a, a red eye. It's not a black eye, it's a freaking red eye. His clothes are all dirtied out. Um, he comes with the feral kid. So those are the three variants of Max. Then I got some of the, the bad guys. Well, I got all the bad guys that they made. So um, let's start with uh, Toadie here. And for some reason, Toadie, whenever I see him, he's usually at a really cheap price. I think he's a pretty cool uh, action figure to own if not at least rare. And then this one's a very hard one to find, the the bad cop, for whatever reason. Um, I think he comes with like a crossbow, but I have it in a Ziploc right now. And here is the, the Lord Humongous, and I have his weapon in a Ziploc as well. Now, it's really cool about this guy because I don't know if this is a spoiler or not, but this mask actually does come off, and you can see what Lord Humongous actually looks like. But I don't know if that's a spoiler or not. I don't know. But he looks cool with it. And then back here we have... Uh, I don't know if they're lovers or not. I'm not sure. But there's Wes on the right and over on the left. Uh, that character is just called the, the Golden Youth. And he always hangs out with Wes. And I, I don't really know what the relationship is. It looks like Wes is really attached to him. Uh, but this Golden Youth has like like chains... Which I don't know if, he, if he's actually willingly friends with Wes. It doesn't seem like he might be a willing participant in that relationship. Um, but yeah, these are really cool action figures. And sometimes, yeah, you can find them pretty cheap. Sometimes you can find them, well, most of the time you find them really expensive for like the, the, the max variants for Bad Cop. Um, but I always see a lot of Lord Humongous. I see a lot of Wes, and then the gyro the gyro is really cheap if you want to get him for for dirt cheap, and then the the lady here, I forgot what they they call this one. I see on the back. Yeah, so I think this came in two different series, like two series of uh, toy outputs. So here was the first release of Road Warrior figures, and then I think um, Toady came in the second series of release. Yeah, here's the second series. So the second series was Toadie, the Bad Cop, Mad Max, Clean Variant, Golden Youth. And then the, the first series was this. So, just want to show you my complete collection of Mad Max figures. If, I, if I'm missing one, let me know. I would love to know if I'm missing an action figure from this uh, series here. Um, I do want to go back and get the, uh, the, the Funkos that were made for uh, Fury Road, but the problem with Funkos is they typically don't look realistic. They usually have like really big heads, and I like this more realistic uh, uh, look to them. See Mel Gibson here? Looks really cool. He's got a little metal support for his leg. Hopefully a dog here can get some uh, Dinky D, as long as his owner doesn't eat it all. <laughs> 